my real life job, I am a graphic designer. I mostly do work for Faith Alcohol. So if you look behind the bar, there's probably a couple products I design, so. But here, I'm gonna talk about my favorite like era of design is the psychedelic movement, which is founded by Albert Hoffman in 1939. Yes. So like you do when you make a drug, no big deal, you just collaborate with the CIA to do mind experiments. <laughs> and one of the participants in that mind experiment was Ken Kesey. And basically he's like, holy shit, this is amazing. I need this, my friends need this. I'm gonna steal a bunch of LSD. <laughs> so he did, and he made this basic, this event called the acid test. So basically every single week, you would pay a dollar, you would go into a warehouse, take some acid, listen to the Grateful Dead for about six hours. Plus. <laughs> and these are some of the initial flyers from it. There's a big range of, this, of work here. So from very, very kind of premature to fully things. These are also done by some Hell's Angels who were big fans of the acid test. <laughs> And it's some absolutely awesome stuff. The one on the right sold for fifteen thousand dollars, by the way. I just want to point that out. Oh my God. And I want to talk about some artists too. Wes Wilson, who's like, I'm the founder of like what you know of the psychedelic movement. No big deal. This is what like the posters look like at the Fillmore. <laughs> <laughs> this is my style. Everyone ripped me off. So yeah, basically he was the OG kind of designer. He did all the posters of the film were, were, which was in San Francisco, which was this really cool venue that just hosted a lot of psychedelic events every single day of the week. <laughs> and so he made a living off of this for years and this was his thing and he kind of brought the Art Nouveau style into it that's very, very, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so yeah, that's what he did and was like, peace, I hate you guys. And so <laughs> the owner of the film work was like, oh shit, my wife is very good at drawing. Hey, do you want to do some stuff? And she's like, I guess I could try. And she did this. <laughs> she's absolutely amazing. She's one of my favorites. She's a Philly native, actually. <laughs> yes. And you know the film war that like, opened up in like, Fishtown area, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so basically when they had the introduction and the first band to play was Hall and Oates, another Philly native band, yes. she did a poster for it and she kind of went back to her original style and it's absolutely gorgeous and I love her the most because it's so nice and soft and just very like, she did a lot of stuff for the Vietnam War as well because that was a big part in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, basically lots of Mother Earth and she's just absolutely fantastic. And then another designer who had more training, he was more artsy fartsy and like, I'm gonna do a bunch of acid and like, we'll see what happens. And <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> Victor Mosfeco was a um, Spanish born American artist. And as you can see, like, <laughs> Tell me what that says. <laughs> People went to this event. This was a sold out event. Oh, those are words. Yeah, those are words, correct. <laughs> and a more kind of less those are words is Alton Kelly, who's absolutely amazing. He's more of a 70s kind of like later towards the end of the psychedelic era, more into like weed and like the beginning of like doing crank and stuff. <laughs> he did like so many Grateful Dead posters <laughs> and so much Grateful Dead like album art is obscene like he's just fantastic and I got one more designer for you basically I've been talking about a lot of San Fran designers so I'm gonna skip over to England with Martin Sharp who did everything for Cream ever <laughs> we have fans and he also had a magazine called Oz, and he did a bunch of shit for Bob Dylan too, and it's fucking gorgeous, but he kind of has more of like, you know if you're on a hallucinogenic and you see a lot of shit? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>